Hey everyone, welcome to the Autoimmune Dietitian YouTube channel. My name is Annie Rubin. I am a registered dietitian and I mainly work with clients struggling with autoimmune diseases. So in my work with my clients, I help them use nutrition as a way to improve their symptoms, reduce their inflammation, and improve their quality of life. So today we are talking about different plant compounds that help reduce inflammation and if you've watched my few videos before this, we've talked about a number of different ones, and today we are focusing on flavonoids. So plants are, you know, really interesting because they are very powerful inflammation-fighting machines, and they produce a number of these special compounds as a way to protect themselves from the surrounding environment. And flavonoids are one type of these naturally occurring compounds that reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in our bodies. So today I'll cover what they are, how they fight inflammation, where you find them, and then how to include them in your daily eating plan. So just before I jump in, I just need to attach my regular disclaimer to this video that the information in today's talk is not the substitute for the diagnosis, treatment, or care of disease by a medical provider. This is for informational purposes only, so please consult your qualified health professional for any changes that you make to your medical care. All right, so flavonoids are compounds that are naturally found in plants. They give plants their distinct color and smell and also protect them from harmful UV rays, toxins, microbes, and other natural stressors. They also help, they help plants survive droughts and extreme temperatures. There are currently around 6,000 different types of flavonoids that are divided into different subgroups based on their chemical structure. These groups include flavanols, flavanthriols, flavones, flavanones, isoflavones, and anthocyanins. So how do they fight inflammation? Well, flavonoids are powerful anti-inflammatory compounds that help remove free radicals from your body and lower oxidative stress. They also help your body recover from inflammatory reactions. And one of the ways that they fight inflammation is by inhibiting the COX-2 enzyme. Uh, this enzyme is responsible for increasing the production of prostaglandins, which are local hormones um, that initiate an inflammatory response. So to put this in perspective, NSAIDs, which are like your Aleve and um, I. Motrin and those types of, you know, over-the-counter medications, those, those are also COX-2 inhibitors, which is why you take them when you have pain and swelling. And so flavonoids actually do the same thing, which is pretty cool. There are some other great health benefits of flavonoids, which include uh, they may lower your blood pressure, they can protect your heart, they may reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, they may stop cancer cells from replicating, and they may inhibit enzymes that trigger neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia. So where do you find them? Um, so I'm gonna break down all the different groups and the subgroups of flavonoids and list out a few foods that are included in those groups so you have a better idea of how to get these into your diet. And generally speaking, they're found in most plant foods. So flav starting with flavanols, um, flavanols are found in onions, kale, grapes, and red wine, obviously, um, tea, peaches, berries, tomatoes, lettuce, scallions, and broccoli. If you're also familiar with quercetin, it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory um, compound. Quercetin is actually a type of a flavanol. Flavan three alls include tea, which that includes black, green, white, and oolong tea, apples, grapes, blueberries, strawberries, and our favorite, cocoa and chocolate. Flavones are typically found in blue and white flowering plants, and they act as a natural pesticide, which is pretty cool. Um, flavones include things like parsley, red peppers, celery, chamomile, peppermint, and mint. Flavanones are found in your citrus fruits, so lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruits. Um, isoflavones, we all know those um, typically because of soy, so they help keep our horm hormones balanced. You find them in soy, you also find them in fava beans. And then anthocyanins um, give flowers their red, purple, and blue colors. So foods that are red and blue and purple also fall into this category. So think like berries, grapes, um, you know, strawberries, eggplant, those types of things. All right, so how do you get them into your diet? I, just, I gave you like a whole list of foods. Um, hopefully you wrote those down. If not, you can always go back and rewatch this. But 
here is a simple kind of outline of one day to fit a variety of flavonoids into your daily eating plan. So for breakfast, you could have a bowl of oatmeal with berries and a mug of tea. For lunch, you could have a salad with a mixture of like lettuce and kale. Um, you could add tomatoes and mint and fava beans, and um, you could add some celery in there and, you know, a, top it with a lemon vinaigrette. For a snack, you could have either like a celery or and or apple slices with nut butter and raisins. And then for dinner, you can make a broccoli and, and pepper stir fry with tofu with, and have a glass of red wine and then finish it off with some grilled peaches. So just to recap, today we focused on flavonoids. They're powerful anti-inflammatory compounds. They are COX-2 inhibitors. You find them in a variety of plant-based foods, and it's pretty simple to get them into your diet on a daily basis. So if you need more help managing your inflammation, I would love to chat with you. I offer free calls to learn more about your goals and to see if we are a good fit for each other. So go to my website, AnnieRubin.com. You can sign up for a free call there. Um, while you're there, you can also check out my free materials that I have. I have a bunch of free guides. My um, The one right now that would be probably you know pertinent to this topic is my anti-inflammatory food guide. I list my top 10 anti-inflammatory foods that includes recipes and um, just some ideas of how to get these into your kind of general eating plan. Also, I put out a weekly newsletter. So if you're interested in you know learning more about nutrition and lifestyle and how that relates to inflammation and autoimmune diseases, you can sign up for that on my website as well. It comes to your inbox every Thursday. And lastly, if you like the video, please hit the little subscribe button. These come out about every week. I'm always talking about something related to, again, nutrition and inflammation. So check those out. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram, The Autoimmune Dietitian, and on Facebook, Annie Rubin Nutrition. So thank you so much for joining me today and catch me next time.